This local sports report is presented by M&T Printing, a proud supporter of local sports. M&T is your one-stop shop for printing promotional products and much more. They offer specialized services and solutions, bringing your ideas to life. Learn more by visiting mtprint.com for a location near you. It's the final chapter in an epic playoff series. The Alora Mohawks back on their home floor for a winner-take-all Game 5 in the Western Conference Final. They were coming off a huge win on the road to even the series. The Windsor Clippers and the Mohawks all tied at two, with the winner advancing to the Ontario Junior B Championship. And you couldn't ask for a better atmosphere. A capacity crowd in Alora for this fifth and deciding game. Opening period, Sam Dramnitsky sent the crowd into a frenzy. He buries the rebound after a brilliant save by Chase Cosgrove. Sammy D is fired up. He gives the Hawks a 1-0 lead early in the first. A few minutes later, Dramnitsky is looking for another one and he collides with Cosgrove. The Clippers don't like it and this play sparking a scrum. We've got some pushing and shoving. Tons of emotion to start the game. Midway through the period now, more Hawks offense. Ethan Wellings over to Jade Verbeek and and he rips it in. What a start for the home side. They are up 2-0. Still in the first watch number 19 for Alora. That's Brett Harrison battling for the ball. And he is drilled by Max Frateroli. Massive hit from Max. Harrison would be okay and stayed in the game. A little later, here comes the Clippers offense. Zane Dolpy setting up Connor McManus. And he puts it in. McManus getting Windsor on the board. They now trail 2-1. And the Clippers strike again just over a minute later. McManus finding space in front and his shot just trickling across the line. McManus has a pair. The Windsor fans are revved up after the goal. We've got a new game. It's 2-2 after one. Second period now, the Clippers with a man advantage. Max Frateroli grabs it behind the net and he sets up Zane Dolpy. Windsor has their first lead of the game. Dolpy scoring on the power play. Two minutes after that, Callum Brennan with the ball. He circles around over to Xander Durkatz and he snipes. Big goal Durkatz. Windsor with a two goal advantage. It's 4-2. Back come the Hawks. This is Jonah White charging in. He's got a break. Chase Cosgrove with a big stop. He denies White. Moments later, Kyle Detweiler running onto the floor and look out. The captain levels Malachi Good. Detweiler trying to spark his team with a big hit. Then watch the front of the net. Connor McManus is taking the feed. He is hammered by Curtis Goodwin. The Mohawks taking over possession. A few minutes later, this is Xander Durkatz with the ball. Nice little feed to Josh Rosa, and he buries it in front. Rosa extending the Clippers lead. They are up 5-2, and the Windsor bench is loving it. They are feeling good with a three-goal advantage. Back to the highlights in a minute. First, a reminder. This video is presented by M&T Printing, a proud supporter of local sports Check out their website at mtprint.com. Still in the second, the Mohawks striking back. Ethan Welling over to Brett Harrison. Hey, Brett, why don't you give us a wire job? What a shot from Harrison. Alora's trailing 5-3 after 40 minutes. Let's move to the third, and it's a breakaway for Caden Brennan. He races in and puts it in. Brennan restoring the three-goal lead as he delivers on the break. 6-3 Clippers, but this game was far from over. This is Brett Harrison battling his way to the net, and it's a beauty from Brett. That's his second goal of the game. Harrison makes it 6-4. Later in the period, Nick Aitchison cutting to the middle. He fires, and the ball squeaking through. All of a sudden, we've got a one-goal game, setting the stage for a wild finish. 6-5 Windsor. Moments after the goal, it's another breakaway for Caden Brennan. He scoops up, comes in, and oh my, Nate Whittem. How clutch is that? That stop. Widom keeping his team alive with a massive save. Final minute now. The Mohawks calling a timeout. They have an empty net and it's one last push for the equalizer. Here are the final seconds of regulation.
It's heartbreak for the Hawks. They battle right until the end, but come up just short. Windsor is moving on. After a 6-5 victory on Monday, the Clippers will now face Nepean in the Ontario Junior B Championship. What a game, what a series between Alora and Windsor. They put on quite a show. The Clippers are Western Conference champions after taking the series three games to two. For more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.